So people that want to really understand how far back our whole history goes to us really being still controlled by Britain um, is a look up on YouTube Dr. John Coleman. Um, I, he lays it out in such a good, easy way to follow. Um, and it all goes back to the people that those those few hundred people that control everything that decide which countries they're going to uh, ruin their institutions so that they can wipe out the middle class. That's what they do. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But he said it goes back to the committee of 300. That's who ultimately controls everything. The committee of 300. Um, and it all stems uh, back to like MI6, which is the British intelligence they're the intelligence agency that's been along, around the longest. They're the ones that taught Mossad. They're the ones that taught the CIA. Um, they have always, Britain has always been controlling us, the crown. So um, he said that NAFTA, any president that signed NAFTA, that's the free trade agreement, that they um, should have been charged with... Um, uh, treason and I think it was traitor and traitor treasonous and sedition uh, because that just wipes a country out because um, he said and it it all started it goes back to even at link they they shot Lincoln because of this stuff they shot Kennedy because of this stuff because um, and and Washington uh, all of these presidents I mean I know Washington wasn't shot but these these men uh, suffered greatly uh, many of the early founders because of trying to fight back against Britain on these things. But, um, so, uh, but that is why they shot Kennedy and that's why they shot Lincoln. Uh, so anybody that's ever tried to pull out of the free trade agreement, they will retaliate against. They, they have no problem telling you that they're, they're like a dark tyrant, tyrant, tyrad, um, that they're, they could care less about people, and their goal has been, going back to like 1912, um, has been to decimate the middle class. Because as America got going, the middle, we, we had jobs here, right? Jobs here, manufacturing steel workers, steel being one of the biggest, the first ones to go. And so in order to decimate the middle class, you have to destroy the institutions. That's what's going on today. That's why in, in hospitals, um, nurses are treated like slaves. It's not about um, caring for people. It's not about treatment. It's just about get them in, get them out. They treat you horribly. They don't care how, how little staff you have. It's literally like they, that's what they're about. They're about will we'll, we'll make their lives miserable because they saw the middle class as the most dangerous because as the middle class became became um well sufficient like being able to not only um make a good living for themselves and have job security uh they also were able to buy american goods and still uh, you know afford their home and all of that stuff they didn't have to go out to china or anywhere else and get all this stuff but he said with nafta what that brought in was getting rid of a bunch of of, of institution manufacturing jobs here, which is exactly why Trump says, you know, that you won't be charged taxes if you, unless you buy outside this country, if he gets in. Trump did not sign on to NAFTA. He, he decimated it and was changing all of it. Because um, like this Dr. Coleman said, when you have free trade going on, then you will decimate your own countries. Well, the Committee of 300 has always wanted to decimate America because um, we are uh, we have always been a threat to them, not just because of freedom, but also because of some religious things as well, obviously Christianity. Uh, but their biggest thing is about controlling the money, controlling everything. So, it, and the committee of 300 goes back to Rome. He explains it much better. I mean, he really does all the ins and outs of it, um, how they control everything. Um, and then, uh, and then I said is uh, about MI6, uh, MI6, which is Britain's intelligence. And he said they've been around f like forever. They go back to the club of Rome. Um, 
and that is the problem and he said he this is and I listened to a talk he did in in the 80s so he said in the 70s the steel industry was already destroyed he's like here's all these steel steel manufacturers and workers that were going to pass this trade on to their kids and you know because they had learned these trades and they had job security and then because of the NAFTA free trade coming in it it was just a way to control countries and and then he also went on to say that this is also when the science came in and he said Harvard's been doing like gain-of-function research with um, like AIDS and um, smallpox going way back so um, but they haven't been doing they've been doing it here uh, and then when they get caught or something horrible happens, like in the lab, they just, uh, CDC, because they've done it at CDC as well, they'll just burn the labs down. Um, but where they were, like, then releasing this stuff was, like, in Africa and other poor countries. He said AIDS was, you know, that's how they we got AIDS, was because of what they did. So, um... So all of them, yeah, this all goes back to the committee of 300, not, you know, a handful of people. So um, very interesting to listen to because he said that AIDS, uh, he saw a AIDS because he, he's gone around the world and has um, investigated a lot of this stuff. Um, so he said he saw AIDS coming long before it got here. And he said, yet the way that it was presented to America was that it's like this gay disease. And he said, and to some extent that was true just because, you know, back then they had the bathhouses and men were sleeping with all different sorts of men. But he's like, that's not entirely true either because they had released this in Africa. Like, you know, because they were doing, they were playing with viruses back then. They got it, CDC and uh harvard and some in stanford some universities ended up going too far and causing in like some of their scientists died because of doing this research this was way back in the day and so um they would just um incinerate them but they still kept on doing it like they still are doing today so um yeah all of this and and he said uh one of the worst republicans was newt gingrich that's what he said and I think it had to do with NAFTA, but some other things. He said the, the worst Republicans are the rhinos, but he said the Democrats, they, they have gone back to their beginning of their history. They have always been on board with the Communist Manifesto and using socialists to bring it in. And he said, and they have gotten a stronghold in this country. And it's because the Club of Rome decides who the Secretary of State will be in every administration. And that Secretary of State, he said, I'll pay anybody $1,500 that can tell me a Secretary of State in any administration that actually ever did anything good for this country. He said they don't. They don't even follow the President's orders, no matter who the President is. Who was one of the Secretary of States? Hillary Clinton. So it's just, he's very easy to follow. I would, I would look him up. Um, that will tell you everything about our history and why we've gotten to this place and, well, why they're really trying to take Trump out because Trump's trying to set us back on the path of our country being a Confederate republic, a constitutional republic. Freedom, again.